Hello and welcome, and I have a creation. This is probably more for the, like, code geeks out there, but I have managed something pretty cool. So, I was using uh, marching squares for my game because I didn't want it to be uh, clearly square anymore, but I ran into an issue. Um, it, it looks pretty good, actually. Here's my Discord, and this is what it looked like. Now, you may notice there's an issue. Whenever there was three materials or more touching, it doesn't know how to make a shape out of that. There's no case for that because marching squares is designed for either solid or empty. And it works great for that, but obviously in a game where you have more than two materials, that's not going to cut it. I was thinking about trying to come up with cases for it, and then I realized why do that when I can just create my own algorithm that's better. So, I don't know if this name is taken, but... I'm just, let's Google it. Let's see if, I don't believe so. No, it's not. Not not at least that I can find. I'm calling it marching stars because instead of using, it, it kind of looks like stars, okay? Um, the shape I'm using. So um, I'm gonna show you guys what I did, how I did it. Um, but let's go to the original draft. So this is the original draft and um, Basically, I wanted to come up with a way to pull enough curve. I didn't want it to look blocky, so I wanted to come up with a way to make it so that coming from one square, I could make it look smooth going on to the next. So I came up with this. It's a lot of triangles. I'm not going to say this is faster than marching squares because it's not. With some optimization, it can be extremely fast, though, so I didn't really care um, if you wanted to get... Well, I guess it could be competitive. Um, that's not why I made it, though, because I'm doing a 2D game and it's not a large map. The extra triangles don't hurt that bad anyways. Um, but basically... I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten triangles here, and they work together to be able to make pretty much any shape uh, you could think of. So this is what it looks like. I labeled it all out. Now I'm not going to be showing code here. If you want to implement it, you should be able to do it just with this, really, and uh, with the cases. So it's pretty simple. Um, there's a simple case, which is that all four sides are the same material as um, it itself. And in that case, it's just going to be a square. That's really damn simple. Um, this case didn't actually end up working because you can't decide which side has authority. Well, I guess I have kind of fixed that problem. But this is the one that actually makes things look really smooth and nice and it makes it not look blocky. If two sides are the same material, um, What'll happen is it'll grab these three triangles here. Uh, so that's if the center is the same material as these two, uh, and then these two are not, it'll cut these three triangles and switch it to the other material. And that is the entire basis guideline of this. I may do slight changes to improve it, but that simple idea, and obviously can happen in four directions, and here I have it kind of shaded in what happens if you have here and here, and then it shades here, and then this is the original material. Um, and this was me drafting out the cases in the beginning. This didn't end up being the cases that were used, though. It, it got a lot simpler. Um, keep it simple, stupid. I wrote it right on the page because I didn't want to overcomplicate this. So, let's look at it. Let's look at what it does and uh, how it works. So, right off the bat, you can see that it is pretty damn smooth. Now, it can have harsh edges if there's nothing connecting these two. So, kind of like dual contouring, it can actually uh, maintain hard edges. And it's something I was thinking about changing, uh, but you need to have a... And you may be asking, why isn't this grass and this grass connecting? And that's because... Um, if you look at it like this, if you have this grass and you have this grass and you have this water and this water, one of them has to have the authority to cut the other one. And if they both do it at the same time, they'll overlap and it'll look horrible. So I'm basically just getting the terrain IDs to derive the authority they have to cut through the other material. So it's not perfect. It's not 
completely even for everything and but that's not really what it was needed for it was needed to look good for a game so the triangulation and the mesh generation i think looks pretty damn nice now i do have a little bit of issues here in the uh, water shading so my edges are a little bit off on some of them uh here as well a tiny bit but i'll figure that out the main idea though is that the triangulation itself looks really good you've got smooth terrain compared to the blocky terrain before and i think it's a good amount of work i'll work on making it a little bit smoother in the future but i think it's good for now so that's my little project that's how i made it um feel free to implement it yourself uh but that is going to be it. I think that it's uh, very exciting. I've been working a long time at making this look better. This looks pretty damn good. Look at those shapes. So one thing we can actually do to show off the power of it is grab some rocks. And let's go ahead and punch down a tree. If I can find a tree. Here is a tree. I'm going to go ahead and punch it down. need to fix my particle system as well. I think it's on the wrong layer because I redid my rendering. And then once the tree is cut down, we're going to draw with a hoe into the ground. We're going to make crop circles. Not actually, but close. There we go. So you can see that it starts as a square, square, square square but the second that we have these two dirts that are touching it will cut those triangles out and we can go ahead and actually do this and you'll see that we can actually get a pretty perfect circle out of it and then if we want to make this look nicer we can just cut like this is it perfect no but you know I think that it looks pretty damn good. It's able to maintain those harsh edges if you really want it to. Um, but it's also able to be pretty damn smooth. So that's going to be it. Uh, that's my Marching Stars algorithm. I think it's pretty neat. Now we have this beautiful farm. Beautiful, beautiful farmland. Look at that. Wonderful. We're, we're going to grow so much corn on this. It's going to be great. <laughs> Game doesn't even have corn yet. Well, that's going to be it for all. See y'all.